hello hello today's video is sponsored by helix sleep helix sleep helix sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door a comfortable mattress that's right for me is a big deal because i already have a hard time falling asleep and i don't need an uncomfortable mattress making it even more difficult Everybody's different and Helix knows that. So Helix made a sleep quiz that matches your unique body type and sleep preferences to match the perfect mattress for you. I am a side sleeper that prefers a medium feel and I share the bed with my husband and two cats. Based on the quiz, I was matched with the Helix Midnight. I've had my Helix for over two years now and it still looks and feels brand new. No indents, no changes in firmness, I mean, it's as if I just unboxed it yesterday. I am a hot sleeper, so I need anything that would help me. If it's too warm, I toss and turn all night. So I personalized my mattress even more by adding Glaciotex cooling cover, which keeps you cool and comfortable while you sleep. This year, Helix launched their newest and most high-end collection yet, the Helix Elite Mattress. They put their years of extensive mattress expertise to use to create a truly elevated sleep experience. The Helix Elite Collection includes six different mattress models to combine high-end luxury with personalized comfort tailored to your preferences. The best part is that Helix delivers a mattress right to your door with free shipping to the US. The mattress comes rolled up in a box and it's so easy to set up. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried, Helix has a 100 night sleep trial so you get more than three months to make sure that you love it. Plus, Helix mattresses have a 10 year warranty and they even offer financing options and flexible payment plans so a great night's sleep is never far away. And keep an eye on the Helix website this month because they have some secret flash sales popping up throughout October. So it's a great time to upgrade your sleep. I love my Helix and I think you would too. So if you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix Sleep. You can click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash amyk to get 20% off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows. And with that, thank you so much to Helix for sponsoring this video, and let's get on to it. Dear, it seems you've had an unforeseen accident in the ocular region. Hmm, you poor thing. Why all my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. Winifred, Canterbury, Canterbury class. Based in Waterdeep, we make the finest prosthetic glass from carved glass, forbidden glass, bay touched glass, every type of glass except window glass. Unless it's magic missile proof. Then we make it. We make the best prosthetic eyes from here to hither, hither, and yon. Have no fear. A friend of the Sword Coast is a friend of Winifred Canterbury, who offers you a lifetime supply of Canterbury glass eyes. You may call me Winnie. As you can see, I have a glass eye myself. Or perhaps you cannot see due to the fine craftsmanship. I've gone to very glass. Hmm. May I? I? Don't mind. I need to feel the muscles of the injury or around the injury. To get an idea of what we're working with. Just prep here. So a little about me, so we may get to know each other better. I hail from Prismere. From the Fame Wild. I spent much of my youth there until I realized I desired more. <laughs> I desired to help others in need. Uh, d does this hurt right here? Right there? Okay, um, <clears throat> specifically the most in need, the non magical. 
so bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, I travelled to Faerun and made my way down the south coast, where I met many individuals playing by very... plagued by various injuries. Um, I'm sorry, can you feel this right here? When I touch your face? Right there? Uh, so at that time, I'd be in my work in prosthetics on the road as a travelling salesman till I finally landed in the City of Splendour itself, where Canterbury Glass truly took flight. Uh, can you look over here for me? Right here. Okay, now look over here. Okay. Down here, darling, down here. Right there. And up here. Right up here. Oh. Uh, tell me if at any point cannot feel this, okay? I have been in the prosthetics business for over 20 years, so I can guarantee you our products are the best in the biz. And when it comes to the swap, we do it right every time, so that you leave with your perfect match. And that's the Canterbury promise. So, look, if you don't mind, I need to take a look at the eye colour so that I may find the perfect match for you. Let's see. Just have some swatches here. Hold up to your eyes. Take a look at the look. You see, the eyes are a very personal, very unique organ. Find an exact match, but we do our best and we create a wide variety of colors to do just that. I'm trying to find the undertones of your eye. Of course, there's the main colors like the blues and the browns, but often eyes have a different color speckled throughout. The speckled throughout. I can decide. Yes, I do believe your eyes are of the Ocean Breeze collection. I believe that this one right here would fit you quite well. No one would be able to tell the difference. That's a surprise. Now these are just temporary, but I can place it over your eye so you may get a feel of the fit and the look of the prosthetic. Yeah? Okay. Just simply. There you are. Oh yes, I can definitely see this is your perfect match. What do you think? Do you like it when you look in the mirror? Lovely, you like what stares back. Now something like this in the other eyes as well here. Granting you perfect eyesight by the magic of Canterbury glass could cost you upwards of 100 gold. Yes, 100 gold is a steep price, but it's worth it for the quality. Although, for chance, there's another option if I could tempt consider our more magical wares. Eyes with magical effects. Whatever your heart desires, aches or long for, can be yours. You'll only need to ask Winnie herself. And all I ask in return is your Current eye. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you what we do with said eye, as that is a Canterbury trade secret, but I can assure you it is very, very valuable to us. And in its current state, rather useless to you. So, you 
hesitate. But I show you my services are nothing but professional. In fact, I have provided class eyes for many notable figures, including a member of the High Queen's Court in New Chandala. Perhaps getting to know our eyes will ease that tension of yours. Take this out here, if you don't mind. Good. But first, before we look at the magic eyes, with such a large collection, it can be difficult to choose. Do not fret. That is why I am here. To find what fits you best, I'm going to conduct a test. Based on your unique results, I will know which eyes to suggest just for you. Now, this can be difficult, but I want you to tell me what you see on these pieces of paper. Right? They are coloured pieces of paper. What do you see here? What do you see here? Good. Leaf, plant, whatever. Right? What colour is this? Piece of paper, right? Fantastic purple. And what is on this purple paper? Exactly. A moon. Very good. And once again, what colour paper? What colour paper? Pink. Very good. And what is this here? What is this you see here? A sun. Very good. Is this colour paper, is it, is it blue? No, good, good. And what do you see here on this paper? Crystal looking thing, yes. Right. Is this colour paper pink? Is this pink coloured paper? No, it's blue. Right. And what do we see on it? A mushroom. Good. Is this colour paper yellow? Is this yellow? Good. And what's on this paper? A dragonfly. Fantastic. Very good. That went well. Straight at me, please. I want you to tell me when my fingers leave your periphery. Right, look straight at me. Alright, good. Still look straight at me. Fantastic. And the other way around. When do they enter your periphery? Look straight at me. Fantastic. Good. Good. Back here, how many fingers am I holding up? And close, how many fingers am I holding up? Okay, and to the side over here. And over here. Okay, and up here. And down here. Fantastic. Very good. Right. I'm going to put something over. Your eyes. Okay. What colour do you see? Most of it. Green. Correct. Now, I want you to tell me 
least you curse to the best of your ability. This is supposed to be difficult. Are these the same colour or different? Same or different? Okay, very good. Now, oh. are these two the same colour? Okay. Which one is lighter, left or right? Which one is the lighter colour? Fantastic. Right now. more colours, yeah? Are they the same or different? Okay, and which hand, left or right, is the lighter colour in? Left or right, lighter colour. Okay, very good. Fantastic. Let's do a different colour over here. you say this is? Over your eye here. A blue or purple? Okay, I'll take either of those. Tell me, which finger is closer, left or right? Good. Which finger is closer, left or right? Fantastic. Are these two colours the same or different? To the best of your ability, the same or different? Okay. Which one has the symbol on it? Which one has the symbol on it? Okay, left or right? Left or right? Good. Very good. Okay. One more colour. this. Good. Red. Red. Can you tell me how many fingers I'm holding? How about now? And how about now? Fantastic. will all make sense in a moment. Are these colours the same or different? Same or different? Okay, and which one is the lighter colour? Which one is the lighter colour? Left or right? This one. Very good. Alright, let me just take this off here. Okay. Back to normal. Yes. Very good. Okay. Now, I'm just going to rearrange these eyes for a moment. Pick out the ones in my special bag here. That's where I keep 
my magical eyes. I have decided which ones are just for you. I'm going to set them up all pretty for you. Them up a bit wonky, but these are the ones I've chosen for you. I believe that you would be the most interested in. So, idea, if you can see, this one right here grants you dark vision up to 60 feet. Now, I know what you're thinking, dark vision's rather. Common. Not for humans, and I spy a human in our midst. You, you're a human. Non magical. Unfortunate. Dark vision. In the dimmest of light, you will see bright as day. And in the darkest of night, you will see dimly lit. It's better than nothing, as you are now, stuck in the darkness, in the middle of nowhere, all by yourself. You'd be seeing nothing. Next, this one right here, gorgeous variety. We have the yellow on the center, the blue on the outside, very pretty. This one. See invisibility up to 30 feet, so it's not too far of a range, but being able to see invisible creatures is life changing. And it's not just creatures, it's invisible things as well. So if some wizard decided to hide something, you, you'll see it as long as you're within 30 feet. Very so especially in the Feywild, that's something that they are very fond of, is invisibility. Very so. This one here, it grants you limited foresight. It has the more dragon-like eye, as the dark vision one does, and it has this beautiful dark cobalt blue. Very pretty. But limited foresight, allow me to explain. You'll be able to see into the future. No more will you be surprised by anything. Now it's only a few seconds into the future, but that's better than nothing. The power to see, well that's just, it's almost like power of a god, isn't it? Though, mere mortals, a few seconds, but you cannot be surprised. And the colour of that eye, it would look so well with your complexion. Absolutely. Now, this last one here, this one is more than normal, it looks like a regular blue eye. Of course the blue colour is more vibrant, again that sort of cobalt 
look but the outside is more of a normal blue like a baby blue so there's a bit of a gradient there but this one does grant you the power to use fear now it is a spell that you can use once per rest because it's such a taxing spell you might need to take a rest before you cast it again now fear is very useful especially if there's a creature that it's a bit above your adventure range and you just want to have it run away or maybe there's a group of monsters or creatures or whichever that there's a bit too many of them you took on more than you could handle, right? Well, they could possibly avoid it, but most of these things that you're fighting are dim-witted. It casts a phantasmal image into their mind of the worst fear they could imagine causing them to run as far as they can from you. Very useful. Now, what do we think about those? Hmm? Set this down. Right. So, I need those catch your eye. simple bubbles to pick your interest. I can see though that you're perhaps more open to the idea of the magical eyes. How about I show you our more advanced eyes? Very special. I save these only for the most discerning of customers. When I believe I am in the company of are you knowledgeable of rune carving? Oh. Rune carving. Poetry. Song. Story. Words carry power. A stirring poem can feel almost magical. But there is a difference between almost magical and actually magical. A rune carver's craft allows them to use an ancient runic language as old as time itself to imbue even the most mundane items with powerful magic. They've been known prosthetics to create prosthetics so powerful that it's worth an arm and a leg, though thankfully all I ask from you is your eye, as I am plagued by generosity. <laughs> I have been my whole life. Bad for me, good for you. <laughs> right. Uh, it, let's take a look. I just need to switch these out so I can show them to you nice and wrapped up in a bow and all that. Again, these have an ancient runic magic to them. Each one that grants a very special magic. Very special. 
Let's begin, shall we? Another beautiful cobalt. As you can tell, it's a favourite colour of mine. Bigger people. Unfortunately, it doesn't get smaller. But it's because of the magic, unfortunately. But once you hear what it does, you'll excuse it. Now with this, you cannot be charmed or frightened by magical means. At all. You cannot. I wish I could explain the magic to you, but how it works. That is truly up to the rune carvers. Turns on them um, a sort of beasts or beings that you often go up against, but you could really throw someone for a loop if that's their main strategy. Charm will frighten you. You can't be. This one here is absolutely gorgeous. Has the lighter blue, sort of a green in the center, and on the outside it's speckled, speckled with that darker blue. It's gorgeous, very beautiful. Odd colored eyes are in. If you would like, we again do have the standard where we could really truly find your almost exact eye color. But odd eyes are very cool. This one can spell magic that has been cast onto you. And this is any array of magics, as long as it's not um, above the level of this eye. Of course, the dispel magic level, I, I believe it's um, around like level f three or four. So, anything above that, you cannot dispel, but anything below, which is quite frankly most of what you'll be fighting up against, dispel. One time, Asleep. This one. No get at that. It's like a snake or a dragon. Very pretty. These ones I actually there's a dragonborn friend I have. I crafted a lot of them after their eye. Now this has a beautiful green. Right, you see that? Beautiful green center. It sort of spiders out like electricity with the lighter blue on the edges. Very beautiful. Now, this one, it gives you, once you activate it, you can activate it once per sleep again. Uncanny good luck. That, worth its weight in gold. There are so many things that have gone wrong that could have gone right. If only you had a bit of luck. Perhaps you're going into something dangerous, or you're hoping to find something. And chances are, if, no. Some uncanny good luck. That could be useful. Hmm. I wish I had this one myself. Now, this last one here, uh, the rune carved eyes that I chose just for you. We do have others. These are just the ones that I felt he would be most, um, that you would find most use of, or that you would be um, more interested in. Right, so this one here, this one looks like more of a lizard eye. A lizard. So we have that green and yellow. That's like a sort of, again, speckled sort of look with the darker outer rims. Got that darker limbal ring. 
So of course I if you were curious, I don't I didn't explain this. This is just the iris of the eye, right? So you know I have the colour and then of course the outer parts are white. So ones like this. So they would be the normal size of your eye. And ones like this with the slitted eye, those would be a bit bigger. So you wouldn't really get to um, see the whites of your eyes unless you look to the side, right? Which, again, very cool. Very cool. But that is something to take into account. Um, so yes, this one right here, the green. This grants you a slight resistance to psychic damage, very slight, but you are immune to uh, reading of thoughts. No one can read your thoughts. And I know what you're thinking, who has the ability to read your thoughts? A lot of creatures, actually. A lot more than you think. And usually the most sinister. Because what sort of person is going around reading thoughts of strangers? Again, the most sinister. Give them their privacy. Good heavens. So, with this, they cannot read your mind. Shielded. Again, you have to keep in mind what sort of places am I adventuring to? What sort of adventurer am I? What sort of adventurers do I want to be? So now you may be thinking, oh, I only, you know, goblins and other kobolds are the only things I end up fighting. But you have to think for the future. You can't buy a glass. Last you a lifetime. So these eyes last you a lifetime. So what do you see yourself fighting in years to come? Githyanki, perhaps? If so, mind shielding right here. Or the charmed one also. Fey, charmed one, yeah. Lots of options. I am throwing a lot of options at you. I know that. I apologise. But I might have more. One second. eyes prepared for you. But um, before we get to those, these eyes, as well as the rune-carved eyes, um, they are our most premium eyes. They're a step above, just magical. And you can see that, right? In their quality. So, the thing is, I would have to ask for just a slight bit more than just your eye if you fell for one of those. And, but not much more, because I like you, and I feel for you, and your plight. It saddens me to see you in such a state. Mm. Ugh. Payment is such a boring part of the business. We can top shop if, once you have made your selection. Now. This next part, I have on my person, 
our most secret, secret collection. But not all are fit for these, I'm afraid. If you'll allow me, I must check to see if you are indeed fit. Just a bit of magic to see if you could handle such a premium connection. Prune card. Ah, simple for the body to handle, but these next ones are. Congratulations. You are fit. I wasn't the slightest in doubt, but it is my profession to make certain. <laughs> okay. Here yeah. we have hex crofted eyes. Now, this line. I worked together with a hex crafter by the name of Agnes. Let me talk tell you what to um, hex crafters. I, I've known a few in my time. Some more devious little creatures. I mean, that's for sure. But it, if there is one thing they all have in common, it's impeccable fashion sense. I mean, look at these. All of these hex crafted eyes that I offer, despite any ill effects, will leave you looking positively dashing. I know what you're thinking. Hexcraft? That's evil, wicked magic. I, I would never. I could never. But what I'm telling you is this. There's a little fun in breaking the rules. And it definitely takes you places you'd have never have gone before with your little goody two-shoes equipped. Items like these are not only for the truly desperate, also for those who know what they truly want and are willing to set caution aside for their ambitions. Quote, there's no heroism without sacrifice. So the question is, what are you willing to give to become a hero? Hmm? End quote. Uh, hold that up. But we need to take a look first. Okay. <clears throat> so, something on it. Oh, a bit of a hair on it, sorry. So, this eye, right here. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. With this red starting the centre, making its way out to a yellow. And then, of course, this nimble ring of green. Beautiful. Now this eye. This eye will grant you unnatural beauty. An otherworldly charisma. They say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Not so much here. Beauty is in the eye. This eye, to be exact. Now it is Canterbury policy that I inform you of the ill effects of the eye. If you can call it that. All it is, is a little tiny bit of vanity, which, with so much beauty, how could you not? What's a little crippling fear of losing your good looks when you could charm even the most curmudgeonly. If you do choose this eye, yeah, I recommend you stay far, far away from any situation that could cause you to tarnish your perfect visage in any way. So what do we think? Does 
Beauty beholden you. Hmm, I see. Beauty is not your desire. You are not so shallow as to ache for simple illusions. No, 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 no. You are an adventurer of honour. Valour. Truth. May I turn your eye to the eye of truth? The knowledge you will come to possess with this eye is usually held for beings of the far realms. But now, it can be yours, thanks to Canterbury Glass. Wise beyond your years you would be, with unbelievable insight. Good luck to anyone who even tries to utter a lie in your company. You'd see right past that. The only downside, it's but nothing for you. Seeing how you are already such an upstanding fellow, the inability to willingly tell a lie. It would be so minuscule of an inconvenience to you. Would you even notice the detriment? I think not. A fine upstander such as yourself. No, no, no. Not at all. And what a gorgeous eye. Look at this rainbow pattern. We have purple, red, yellow, green, and that light blue. And again, we have that very cool dragon eye. Very pretty. This one is an eye catcher. Truly. It will look fantastic on you. With your current eye colour. This one's my number one choice for you. And I think you like it. More hesitancy, I see. Are the ill effects really that startling, darling? Perhaps I misjudged you. Would you like to peruse our more basic connection again? Ah, so you just need some time to decide. Well, do not let me get in your way. Here is my calling card. Right there, you see? Winifred Canterbury, Canterbury Glass. Just give me a shout and I will poof right back. Customer service means so very much to us. So any questions that might pop into that little adorable mind of yours, I will answer to the best of my ability. It has been an absolute pleasure. And until next time.